What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a sad effect in Premiere Pro. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro open and I'll just scrub through this very quickly. This is the video that you saw at the start. And I know it's the exact same video I done for the Vegas Pro 14 sad effect, however the video you saw at the start of this video was all edited in Premiere Pro and it's the video I'm going to be editing now. So I've already put it together of how it all looks as you can see. It's just that and it's actually very simple to do. So the first thing which is right here where we open up the pizza box and then I act all sad, we're going to make this black and white. Now what I like to do, I like it to make it fade into black and white. Now we can't just add on black and white, we actually add something else. So for this we're going to head over to the effects tab over here. Then from there we're going to head over to video effects. I'm going to go ahead and select color correction. And from here, I'm going to select change color. I'm going to drag and drop this on the video. As you'll see over to the effects controls, this has opened up. We can come down. As you'll see, it says change color. Now what we're going to be doing, where it says change color, we're going to select this and we're going to select a gray. About there. And I'm going to select OK with that. I'm going to put the saturation all the way down. And then where it says matching color tolerance, what we're going to do is press the animation button here. And all we're going to do is animate it. So the first keyframe, I'm going to set this at zero. Then I'm going to come across to this keyframe that we created by accident. And as you'll see the time down here, this is where we choose how long it takes to come to black and white. So I'm going to go to 20 seconds, which is four seconds. I'm going to drag this keyframe to that specific part. Then I'm going to put this matching tolerance all the way up. As you'll see, that has now gone to black and white. So if I just scrum through this very quickly, as you'll see, the black and white fades in like that. Another thing I like to do at the very start, I like to right click right here, select apply default transitions, and this is just going to give the video a fade in. As you can see, we need to zoom into that. And here it is. We can extend this out like so. And now we have a fade in on the video like this. The next thing when I open up the pizza box, uh, I'm going to replay that as an overlay on top of this video, but in slow motion. So the way we're going to do that, I'm going to find that part where I open up the pizza box, which is right here. And this part right here, I want to copy. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and I'm going to drag this off to the left, like so. Now I'm going to put this onto video track 2. And I'm going to drag this over here and now you choose when you want it to come in so I get full black and white right there and then right here I want it to come in and I also want it to fade in and the way I'm going to be adding a fade I'm going to right click right in the start so we see this red thing and then select apply default transition and as you'll see this will fade in. Now at the moment it's going to fade in and it's going to be on top of our video and we cannot see the video below but before we do that I'm going to play across a bit to this part. I'm then going to press C on my keyboard to bring up the razor tool and I'm simply going to split right here. Now the part we have on the right hand side, I want that in slow motion. So we're going to right click it, select speed and duration. And now this was not recorded in 60 frames per second so it won't look the best. If you're going to do slow motion, I recommend 50 frames and above, preferably 60. And then I'm going to make sure maintain audio pitch is checked. And now where it says duration, I want this to come up a bit. It's about five seconds, maybe four seconds. And I want to change this to optical flow and select OK. Now, as you'll see, this video has gone longer and that is exactly what I wanted. I'm also going to come to the end, right click, apply default transition, and we're also going to be adding a fade out. So it doesn't look like it just pops up and it actually has a smooth transition to it. So now this is what we have if I just play this through. As you can see, it fades in. However, I also want the opacity down. So that means we can see both videos at the same time. And the way we're doing this is very simple. So we're going to double click our video to make sure we're on it. Make sure the animation is unchecked under opacity and then simply put the opacity to how you want it. You can come down here and you can see there is a slider. It's probably good for people who don't know what they want. But for me, I know I want 35% because I think that looks pretty good. And then remember we split this here, so this one we also need to change. So as you'll see, it's not faded as well. So we're going to click this where it says opacity, untoggle the animation, 
come to this and simply put in the percent you already had. So if I play this part through now, as you'll see, it fades into black and white and then the part where we open up the pizza box in slow motion is also there as well. Then it just fades off screen like so. Now obviously it looks very plain, it looks very boring. That is because there's no music and I believe music does make so much more of an impact. So I have uh, some emotional sad piano music. So I'm going to drag and drop this in and I'm simply going to sync this up. So as you can see, I've now added the music in, but I'm also going to fade this in. So again, I'm going to come to the start, right click, apply default transition. And now I want this to last a little bit longer. So I'm going to zoom into this part again and we'll extend this to about two seconds like so. So now you'll see how much of an impact just this piece of music has made. So I'll play this. And then of course we can also mute the audio. Uh, I need the one up here because that is when I throw the bottle and of course I want that sound to stay there. So I'm going to highlight the audio, I'm going to right click and select unlink. And this has unlinked all the audio from the ones I just highlighted. So I can highlight them and select delete and that gets rid of it. This one here or these two here I can also get rid of. So I'm going to right click and unlink and then I'm going to highlight them and simply delete them like so. Now I'm going to bring this up onto the other audio track. And then we have other audio tracks that we can put the other stuff on. And I'm also going to split this right here so it doesn't continue going on. Delete that and then I'm going to come to the end, right click, apply default transition and same for the video as well. So I'm going to bring this to about two seconds. So that's a two second fade and I'm also want the same for the music over here. There we go. And now I'll play this part through one more time. That is it. That is how you create the simple sad effect in Premiere Pro. Now I know at the start of the video in the example there was also some build music along with the cinematic hit. I will link them in the description as well along with the sad music I used. It will be in one download link. It will be on Mediafire and Mega. You only have to download one. But that is it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.